kind of love I needed. Then I found love, both from my family and from you and from members of the church. I had been truly happy for the first time in my life. And she said, her eyes narrowing, do you really think that I couldn't learn Danish? Torben's eyes were wide as he took in all of her words. Then stroking her hands, which he continued to hold, he swallowed, looking nervous. He studied her intently, wrestling with his thoughts. Finally, with a newfound resolution, he swallowed, his eyes locked on hers, and asked, Aubrey, will you marry me? Aubrey froze as she took in his words. I'm sorry, Torben stammered. His face reddening oh. quickly. Oops. I know we don't know each other as well as we could if we hadn't been separated these last few months. Yes! Aubrey cried out, <laughs> throwing her arms tightly around his neck. Yes? repeated Torben, suddenly perplexed. Yes, I will marry you! Aubrey cried again, her eyes shining. Torben stared at her and then burst out in exhilarated laughter as he hugged her so close her feet left the ground. He spun her around several times before he gently set her back down. He looked deep into her dark brown eyes as he tenderly brushed her hair out of her face. Aubrey Lansing, I love you. Then ever so gently, he pressed his lips against hers as they shared a kiss filled with the promise of a happy future. Aubrey, he said hesitantly a few minutes later, you know that we won't be able to be married for a year. Why a year? She asked, surprised. Because no members of the church can't go to the temple until they've been in the church for a year, he explained. I'd like to marry you in the temple in Denmark. Aubrey relaxed, her face glowing. I'd like to be married in the temple too. It sounds like we've set a date. And by then, I will have learned Danish, she added as she breathed in. Laughing, he scooped her up into his arms, and the two made their way back to the house to share their happy news. We hope you have enjoyed.